Okay, good day everyone. What we're going to do in this lesson is we're going to use the uh, textures that we captured to create a strip texture or a strip graphic for use in a Wix website. So over in Wix, I've just gone into templates here and I've chosen beauty and hair and I've scrolled down to this one that's called professional makeup and I've chosen to edit that one and we can see it over here. Now what Wix does is it separates its areas of content uh, oftentimes by creating strips and you can see one of them here if I hover over it and I click it um, there's our strip there and we can change this to suit the needs of our own website so with that selected our width and height dimensions are here 1425 by 410 so we're going to use these numbers to set up our Photoshop document as um, so if we go to Photoshop let's go to create new and let's choose the web preset from up the top um, let's choose the web large preset because we want the width to be 1920 pixels wide in case we have a screen, in case our website's being viewed on a screen that is larger than this, the recommended size in our strip texture here, which is 1425. Uh, so let's choose 1920 and let's just up the height from 410 to say 450. Okay, we don't need to touch anything else and let's just click create. Okay, and there's the size of our strip there. So what we want to do is we want to go into file and we want to go into place. Uh, let's play, choose place embedded and let's find our texture photograph that we took and let's place it in our document. Now let's resize this uh, just like we did in the previous lesson by grabbing the corner handles and stretching it out so that it covers our entire um, artboard and you can uh, move this around as you see fit. I'm just going to leave it at that and when you're happy with it you can press the tick up here or you can press return or enter on the keyboard and that will set it. Now this is going to be very simple all we're going to do is um, adjust the color of this. So if we go back to our Wix website you can see that our strip is pink and our text on the over the top is green and this uh, call to action button is green as well. So what we're going to do is we might just um, change the color of this from blue to pink so that our green text is legible uh, on top of it. So if we go into uh, adjustments here, color adjustment layers, and let's just choose hue and saturation. And in the dialog box, if we choose change the hue slider, which is just a fancy word for color, we can actually change the color of the petals. All right. Um, so if uh, let's choose like a nice pink, for example something like this and what we might do is it's going to be very bright so it, the, the text may be hard to read over the top so I'm just going to take we'll take some of the saturation out of it and and again this will depend on the image you've chosen to use as well so the saturation just takes out the color of the of the um, image if I go right down it's going to be black and white no color right at the top it's going to be very very vibrant so I might take for this image the saturation down to about here There we go, and that's all we need to do. Now what we want to do is we want to then uh, export this for use on the web. So if we go to File and we go to Export, let's choose Save for Web. And with 2UP chosen, it doesn't really matter what you choose here, but it's nice to have 2UP chosen. And let's make sure JPEG is selected. That's our file type for photographs on the web. And we'll, a quality of 80, okay? You can change um, the quality using this button here, all right, very high will give us 80, or you could use the slider if you wanted to. Uh, we could preview this in the web browser to see what it looks like. You'll notice that our original document or our original Photoshop document is 3.3 .3 megabytes, and compressing it as a JPEG has given us, it will give us uh, an image of 162 kilobytes. So this uh, will be nice and small and optimized for the web. Okay, so there it is, there. That's great. Let's go back to here and let's save it. Um, and then we're gonna add it to our website. Now I've already saved. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump back into Wix um, over here. We're gonna select our strip background and let's go up to the button here, change strip background. And let's go up to image. And once yours is uploaded, select it. And then just click change background. And there you have it. So we've just changed that strip background to a texture that we created um, the other day. So let's you can preview it in your web browser. 
to have a look at what the whole website stuff's looking like. So yeah, there you have it.